This week on Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use the distance calculation. Now, this data set was used on Workout Wednesday last week, so I'm just going to show you how I use the distance calculation to um, get the distance from a certain casino and also show you how to update the parameter that it's using at the moment. So, with the um, distance calculation, you can calculate distance for feet, kilometers, meters and miles but you can also then use a parameter to then change um, the units and depends on which one you actually want to show so you can give the user the option and then you can also click on a specific um, casino and then that'll update but for now I'm going to stick it back to Mandalay Bay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our table. So I'm now going to create a, a parameter so I can update the specific values for the casino that I want to select. So I'm just going to call this casino string and I'm just going to leave it as a blank parameter. I'm going to show the parameter control and now you can see it says one just because we've not set any values. So I'm going to go to Worksheet, Actions, and I'm going to remove that action and add a new change parameter action. We're going to change it from Sheet 1 to the Extract because then it will carry over to the dashboard whenever you need it to. And I'm going to call it Casino. We're going to change the param target parameter to the one we want and the field to the, the Casino field name. I'm going to hit OK. So now I'm going to find Mandalay Bay and you can see that this parameter over here updates to Mandalay Bay. Now the reason why we're doing this is because we need to have a start latitude and longitude and an end latitude and longitude. Now with this parameter we can force the start latitude and longitude across all rows. Now the way we do this is we create a calculated field. Uh, we create a few calculated fields. First one is going to be selected casino. And then we're going to use casino equals name, which is just a true false calculation to say if that parameter equals the name, then true. Hit OK. So now if I put that in here, you'll be able to see that it's true on the Mandalay Bay. So I'm just going to show you the values for uh, the latitude and longitudes, uh, if measure names and measure values would work nicely, that would be great. Measure names, get rid of the number of records, right, okay, so we have the average latitude and longitude and each each casino is different but we want to be able to put these two records across the whole rows. So I'm going to create a calculated field and call it selected lat and we're going to uh, wrap this in curly brackets and a minimum and I'm going to put an if statement in here so if the selected casino is true because that's already a boolean then bring me back the latitude end and then finish with a normal bracket and a curly bracket. Hit OK and then we're going to cheat a little bit, we're going to right click and duplicate this and edit and change this to long. OK, we hit OK and then we can change these in here to geographical roles so that we know that they are actual geographical fields. Now when I bring this in, you'll be able to see that our 36.1 and minus 1152 is across all of our selected, all of our other casinos, which allows us to calculate distance. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a start point, which is going to be a make point calculation, and it's going to have our selected lat and selected long. So this is just a geometric field that we need to do our distance calculation. And then we're going to do the same for endpoint. 
but this time I'm going to use the normal latitude and longitude. So it's make point, uh, latitude and longitude. Hit OK. So now we're going to create our first distance calculation. And we're going to do it in miles. So all we do is we type distance. We get our start point in the right place. Would help. And then we get our end point. Now the options here are to do uh, MI is miles, meters, M is meters, KM is kilometers, and FT is feet. So we can do all of those within our distance calculation. So I'm just going to put MI in, hit OK, and drag it in here. So now you can see we've got all of our miles um, in distance from our a, a selected casino, which is Mandalay Bay, to all of the other casinos. And from here, you can duplicate that calculation to create the meters, feet, and um, kilometers, or we can create a parameter which allows us to look at the distance units. So if I change this to a string, I'm going to change this to km, mi, m, and ft. And then we're just going to edit these so that people understand them a little bit more as, and they're more user friendly. Yes, I'm English. I'm using the meat res, not meters. And change that to feet and hit OK. And now what we can do here is if we edit this calculation and we change this to our distance units and hit OK and show parameter control, you can then see that when I hit through miles, meters, it's constantly updating depending on how, how many it is. And we can also add a decimal place in there just because it's easier sometimes. Hit OK. And now we have our distance calculation. So I'm going to just move that up there, get rid of that. You can keep that in and now we have our distance calculation and we can sort by furthest away or closest to Mandalay Bay. That's all for this week. Thank you.